Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the very early stages of MCPE Mod Loader for Android. Yes, that is MCPE Mod Loader, not MCPE Mod Locator. Uh, I'm making an app now that is going to try and compete with Block Launcher and actually do all the patching for mod scripts and you know, apply textures, apply skins and stuff. And I think you guys are going to really like it and I know a lot of you were hoping I was going to do this. And a lot of you actually asked me to do, the, do it this way, so I'm going to actually explain how it works. So basically it's going to be like Pocket Tool was, where when you want to apply something it's going to reinstall Minecraft, but it's going to do, do this a lot more efficiently than Pocket Tool did, because Pocket Tool you have to uninstall Minecraft, then you'd have to reinstall the modified version. It was slow, sometimes the reinstall failed, and then you had troubles reinstalling or getting Minecraft back, even if you got it off the Play Store. All those problems, and that is what I wanted to avoid. So I've been working on it. I just actually started today after I figured out the approach that I wanted to take on this. And so far, it's been going really good. And I actually haven't finished everything completely with, like, textures and stuff. Mod scripts is going to be tricky. But uh, it's going really good so far, and it's going to be a lot faster than Pocket Tool, as well as it doesn't have to uninstall Minecraft beforehand. You can just reinstall, or you just hit install, and it'll install it for you. It doesn't have to go through and uninstall everything, which will be a lot nicer than the way Pocket Tool did. So I'll show you how it works here, because like I said, not everything is completely finished. So I'm going to open it. So here is your menu so far. I'm going to definitely change the way it looks. It's going to be more like MCP Mod Locator in terms of looks. So I'm going to hit Apply Texture Pack. And once you're here, then you hit Browse and Set Texture. That'll take you to this little file explorer here. You can look for everything. It'll start you in your downloads folder. So, downloads. Then you can click on whatever one you want. Give it a second. This is a problem I'm having right now as it goes to the black screen, which I do know how I can fix it. I just didn't do it yet, and it's going to take some time to do. But yeah, that will be fixed in the future. So, there we go. So I'm going to add a little bit to that, you know, like there's going to be a confirmation dialog. It'll tell you when it's finished, that kind of stuff. Um, but basically what it's doing, so I'm going to go under here, the MCP Mod Loader folder, and show you what it's doing. So here are all the Minecraft files right here. You can open them up. That's all the Minecraft stuff there. It extracts it to this folder right here. And then when you want to use that texture, so I selected this one right here, that Rise Shaders. Then it'll extract it into here and replace the folders and or the files and folders and stuff that was already in there. Then it's going to make that APK right there. And then it has to re-sign it so that you can install it without errors. And that would be that APK, APK there that'll be the final product. So while it's doing that process, I'm going to have it delete, you know, this file here, this folder here, that kind of stuff. So it saves a lot, of, a lot more space because if I go to check on this right now, I can just delete it. Oops. That's about 60 megabytes right there of stuff that you don't need. So that will be changed in the future. And also for people expecting to get Minecraft for free out of this, I'm sorry, but uh, that isn't going to happen. If you open it, I still had it open. If you open it and don't have Minecraft installed, you can see it says you don't have Minecraft installed in your vice, and you have to just close the app like that. I'll probably add a button to that so it'll link you to the Play Store, but... This isn't going to be like a way to get Minecraft for free and pirate it and stuff like that. Uh, because that's what I want to do, avoid. And I don't want to get in trouble on Google Play or anything because, uh, you know, I don't want to get my account terminated again. Because just imagine if I did it that way, how fast they'd terminate it because the first time they terminated it for no reason. So they'd probably jump on that pretty quick. So, yeah, that's what I have so far. I want to know what you guys think. Hopefully I can also get some more videos up here uh, this week because... Lately, there's not really a whole lot of Minecraft news, and there's not been a whole lot of tutorials that I've needed to do recently, so hopefully some news picks up. Uh, maybe I can do a few more videos on this as I get farther, and hopefully a beta here pretty soon, so more people can try it out. So, yeah, sorry for not doing so many videos uh, this week, and even last week. Just uh, haven't had a whole lot of ideas, but this week I'm expecting to get some more videos up, so stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.